Today on How Do You, we are going to show you how to build a stand for your post hole digger. It's got to be one of the most dangerous things in the world to try to put on by yourself. And so we've decided we're going to build a stand out of some 4x6s and then a 2x6. So let's walk through what it takes in order to put this all together. And hopefully this actually turns out to be a video at the end and not just some extra storage space on my phone from a failed project. So first we had to decide how far apart we want our posts to sit in the ground. And we're going to utilize the side of that tire to the side of that tire. That'll be the width of our post from left to right. Then what we plan on doing is cutting slots in the top of each of those posts and we're gonna throw this two by six across those slots. But we're gonna make sure that there's a little bit of a gap so that you can then easily pick it up or just slide that out. What's going to happen is we will back this sucker up with the post hole digger on there. There's gonna be a, a post here and a post here. We'll back it up and then we will throw that cross, bay, uh, cross brace across. <laughs> between the two four by sixes. We'll put that in there uh, while this is back there. So that's what this is going to rest on. And then we will lower that. We'll lower that hydraulic there. And when once it puts it down, then we'll be able to easily just kind of remove these pins here, here, and of course the one that's, that's on the other side over there. So we're gonna start cutting now and we'll see how this turns out. All right, so this is our mark. And we're gonna cut the two by six off of that is the entire width of the treads of the tractor from left to right. That's going to be our cross brace. All right, so this is a four by six. We are using the six inch side in order to cut the hole for where the brace is going to go. It's right here. So we're going to cut a, what? What is that, one and three quarters? That is one and a half, so we're gonna do one and five eighths. We're gonna cut a one and five eighths gap, even though that's one and a uh, half, that way we can have a little bit of wiggle room so that it doesn't get stuck inside it, especially if sitting out in the weather. And if it swells up and it decides to, to grasp, we want to have enough room so that it can still swell up and then be able to pull it out and it be loose. We, don't, we do not need it to be tight in there. And this first four by six. By the way, if I didn't mention it earlier, this four by six is 10 feet tall because we're gonna do four feet in the ground and then we're gonna do six feet above the ground. Cutting multiple slats in between the slats, that way we can just break them off in the end. Sometimes you just got to use what you got available, huh? <laughs> Get it. Get it in there.
Yeah, almost there. Oh, so close. Can we call that done? No. That's close enough. All right, let's do this, this little bit more, a little bit more. Guess we'll call it that. Done, done, and done. Look at that. Boom. Push, push, oh, push back, push back, push back. That's gonna make it easier to cut off? Probably. Probably. Oh, look at that, we went past the line. got all of the four by sixes done get them and pick them up and put them in the bucket over here and we're gonna go start digging some holes all right so we're back who's this guy this guy here yeah I know I'm wearing a different shirt that's fine yeah, it's day two it's actually day eight nine we, we missed a few days in between. Uh, so yeah, we're about to go actually take the post out there and go start digging the holes today. Uh, we bought some Quick Creek. So we'll put that in the hole as well and we'll be on our way. Da, 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 da. There it is, that's the shark. If you've never seen the tractor before, this is it. This is our little Boomer 45. Alright, wood's up there, curl in the bucket, pick it up, AC is on, the radio is somewhat on, we'll turn it up later, let's get out of here. So when you want to make a really sharp turn, you disconnect your brake, and now, you can turn on a dime. Oh, maybe not that close of a dime. Alright, let's get, let's get the quick read out of here. How can it be that heavy for such a little bag? Probably because I'm spilling half of it. Oh, shit, that's heavy. Oh, that's real. Uh, Alright, for the fun of it, we're going to put this in the truck bed because we've got to do something else while we're out there. And that's a surprise. He looked at me like, uh, are you gonna come out here and help me? <laughs> I would, but it's too funny. You're a fucking a-hole for not coming out and helping me. He's like, you're wasting fuel because you have the tractor idle so far up right now. And then here I am doing this. That's the cross brace. And in case we had to clean out the post hole, niggers, remains. 
Yeah, I don't know why we would need that, but I think it was just left over. That's the uh, part of the three-point hitch. Oh, my gloves! Needed those. Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's get out of here. All right, let's get our cooler. We gotta make sure that we have plenty of ice and water while we're out there. <laughs> like I said, we're gonna fill this up full of water for us to be able to drink out of. God bless America and the water that comes out of the ground. Water is starting to make its way out the sides, little by little. You know, trying to clean out the hole like it's doing something. See, I'm always prepared. With what? Always got a shovel. Oh. I might need one. Savage. <laughs> I, you can't get that out with a shovel. You need one of these. There you go. Creating? <laughs> you know why this post hole digger is halfway full every time I pull it out? Because I'm half Mexican. Oh, no. We're, we're teaching a white boy to become Mexican. <laughs> I'm teaching you how to teach your grandson how to be Mexican. Alright, here we go. How deep are we? 24 feet and we are 32 Not even three. inches. Not even 3 feet. Ah, good lord. Okay. We'll be back in one foot. Close enough for government work. You got a straight cut, but you can't draw a straight line. It's not a straight cut. <laughs> Look at it. 
<laughs> Whose fault is that? The saw. Hey, 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 ready? All right, pick it up. Get it in there. <laughs> Come on, Cletus. Pick it up. There you go. Good job. You got it? All right. We'll start filling it in. Yeah. Trying to get that depth in there. Alright, measure it. Let me know what I did. It's not a damn thing. Where do we want? Six feet, right? No, 5'11. 5'11? Yeah. What are we at? Oh, uh, you're a quarter off. From what? Higher or lower? A little too high or a little too low? Gotta go down, baby. You gotta down. go down go one down quarter on of a damn inch. Go down on it. Alright. Alright, we got it. Keep it going. You can go a little bit faster if you want. Keep going. Tito, you want to move your truck? There you go. Keep going. Look at that. You got the beautiful sunset. And swimming pool. She gave it a perfect one inch hole. <laughs> okay. That's how you level it. Alright, so anybody looking for a perfect hole dug for their fence post, call Boomer Brush Cutters. We cut perfectly cylindrical holes. <laughs> Dino, what are you doing? See how far the water go down there? Oh, oh we put the first post down. Look at this. We got six feet up here for the notch. We ended up... We ended up with three feet down in the ground. Four feet was a little too far past the clay line that we were comfortable getting past. You ever wonder how you're going to get the water out to the field? Well, that's one way to do it. You ever wonder how you're going to get a sunset to set perfectly? There's another way to do it. Looks about as straight as you can be. What's 
your grandpa doing? There you go. This is our first test. We know that one side is higher than the other, which we're okay with. We just need to see, will it at least go on the lower side? We're gonna back it up. gap in there and then we're on it so when we drop it then we can drop the pins off and all the weight then goes on that board but when we need to leave all we do is pull the board out look at Fabian Fabian's like yeah I did that thank you guys for watching not kind of not sure what else we're gonna try to do tonight but uh, dirt bike right next maybe on the GoPro Hero 9. We'll see. I'll let you know. Bah! Mexican or Mexican? 